Dog wool for winter comforts. That's one of the latest and brightest ideas of the Canine Defence League. And it has the willing cooperation of the four-legged sports, who are only too pleased to give their overcoats for socks for the forces. Quite a different kind of the socks the troops will give to the Huns. The Samoyeds at a famous well in kennels are doing their bit. All the dogs are prize winners, and their coats can yield enough wool to make a hundred pairs of long sea boot stockings. The combings are thoroughly washed and rinsed until they're as fine and soft as sheep wool. And the same results can be obtained with combings from other long-haired friends, like the old English sheepdog, the Pekingese, the Poodle, the Chow, the Golden Retriever, the Cocker Spaniel, the Pom and the St Bernard. One poodle breeder we know has all her hard-wearing country clothes made from kennel combings like these. The wool is hand-teased or carded into fluffy wisps, clean, unmatted and as light as thistledown. The coat of an old but absent friend is about to undergo a complete transformation. The dog wool is spun into yarn. A ball of wool is held in one hand, and with a twirling motion of the fingers, the strands are drawn out and run onto a spindle. Ladies of a London weaving school use it for spinning into cloth on the old-fashioned wheels. Dog wool yarn will knit as easily as any other, and into a variety of garments. The most popular are socks, mittens, and long stockings. Very doggy, very neat. The young pup seems to know he's growing a pair of mittens. <laughs>